Hi there, here's Danny and today just a short review since I did already about a thousand kilometers uh, with some accessories uh, from TAX. Uh, one of these I will not be able to recommend and the other two are amazing. So this is the um, camera GoPro mount for your stem. So this, this one you put uh, on your stem, uh, on the cap, and you can have your camera in the front. I haven't been testing this one because, as you know, I use the chest mount, but I, I use the rear camera, and on the same package, in the same package, you also get this, uh, this feature, so the, the mount for your saddle, under your saddle. Uh, and a couple of words about this. Let's remove the camera. So what you hear, what you see here is this part. The rails of your saddle will go through these holes. We've got two uh, bolts and it goes like this. Problem with the camera is that even though the, the whole idea is, is really smart, is amazing, this thing has, has some play and when your camera is moving like this you can you can imagine what will happen to the image uh, when you are riding on some rough terrain so maybe on a road bike would be okay but not really for mountain bike sorry but this is this is useless just because of this play so what i tried to do was to put some tape on these rails here uh, and so when i mounted the camera on these no play and this seemed to be I'm, I'm not pushing it all the way through because this this is really hard now uh, and seemed to be okay but since i'm i'm riding in the very rough terrain cross country mountain bike marathons uh, i still see that this whole unit is moving a little bit up and down just a little bit but on the rough terrain if you don't have like super high high bitrate of your camera it will still uh, make your images not look that that good it won't ruin the images but it won't be that good for your family rides for your some journeys trips and road biking would be okay for mountain biking not really so i have to go back to my previous setup which means mounting the the camera directly to my seat post uh, with uh, the electrical tape uh, and then the camera is really still it's still it just moves uh, as your uh, seat post moves so there is not that much of vibration there much better uh, it will be worse for your audio because then the camera takes all the sounds from your drivetrain from your tires just through the seat post so it, the, the sound will be better through this mount uh, but i'm going for the uh, for the video because i'm not using audio from my rear camera so that's one thing thing number two is something very smart and something i will recommend you use the same mount which you actually also get with this uh, package in order to get additional bottle cage uh, just behind your saddle um, getting the bottle and putting it back here is much easier than I imagined. It's not really difficult, but also uh, you get two different mounts. This one you see here is for one bottle cage because you don't get bottle cage with it. You get, you get only the mount or the double one. So you can have one bottle or two bottles uh, just uh, behind your saddle and this is amazing. On my little, <laughs> little yellow bee, uh, on my e-bike I don't have any bottle cages mounts on the frame so using this one is a great great thing for me I'm not using the double one I'm using the single one but if you do long trips or you don't have uh, mounts on your frame this is very good you don't you don't um, even care about some little play it doesn't matter for you this is this is strong I think uh, the the plastic is good quality so I, I'm not I'm not complaining about that just about the small vibration for your camera but as for a bottle this is amazing I like it and then just by coincidence <laughs> and I got also the this wasn't the coincidence I got also the front mount guard uh, MTB which I'm going to use for my uh, enduro rides but I, I was just looking about this mount and then I found out this is the same one that it actually fits here and it clicks in so you can use this one as the ass saver 
also with the same mount and when we look at this picture it shows also that you can still you can use the GoPro mount and the uh, mud guard at the same time and that's amazing I love less parts and more no more different options for for how you use those so first off this would be the thing I would really recommend for you guys GoPro mount you know for road biking yes for mountain biking sorry not really good and also I'm gonna be using the front mount guard as a rear ass saver just if I need to that's it guys I'm just I'm just about to finish rendering I mean it's like 20% now I can you can hear probably my computer so I hope the race will be published this night. See you soon. Bye-bye.